Hello, my friends. Are you ready for this? Well, first of all, hello. Look at this awesome box. It is kit club time. And let me just tell you, I have to be honest, I love this box so much. It is new. This is the second month we've had it. In the past, we had a white box with pink writing. Now we have a pink flower box, yay. And it has lots of pretty colors, stamps of life. And it has your a spot for your label. It has so, stamps of life all over it. It says happy mail is here because it is time. And then when you open it up, it says, hello, my friend, hug Stephanie. That's me. <laughs> and are you ready? Oh my goodness, you guys. First of all, I mean, the box alone is worth it, right? <laughs> Let me open this. And before I start, of course, you know, this is the basics, right? You get your handy dandy storage envelope. So you can hold your bigger dies in here. You could hold some of your card kit items in here. You get to decide what you put in here. My favorite thing, I'll be honest, is to put my bigger dies in here. Very important for me. But you could keep your cardstock in there. It's, it's so multi-use. Also, you're getting your envelopes because you know what? Let me tell you, we always need more envelopes. Am I right? We always, always, always need more envelopes. Then, well, let's look at the cardstock pack because this is gonna give us an idea of what we are working with. So let's open this up. Get this out. So of course we have our powdered sugar because we always need powdered sugar, right? Then we have our ginger snap. Then we have, and I wanna confirm, then we have our kiwi. Then we have our cloud. Then we have our cranberry. Then we have our blue jay and artichoke and sunshine <laughs> and pool. I wanna make sure I say the right names. Look at this, you guys. Now, this is a fun color palette. I like this because this is very perfect for any theme, right? I love that. It's very springy. It's very, you know, I, lo I love it. I love the red bold too. I love the cranberry bold. Now, that's our color palette. Are you ready? Let's see what we have here. Let's look at the paper pad next because that is to me the next important. Well, I almost the first important, right? This is called Sending Sunshine. So that's the collection. And are you ready? Now, if you're in the Stampin' Die Hard Club and you're in the Card Kit Club, first of all, you're golden, right? Woohoo! But you know this kit is gonna coordinate with the Stampin' Die Hard Club. It's not the same, it's not the same. It coordinates. So if you put it all together, you are gonna have this amazing collection, right? So here we go, sending sunshine. First of all, we first of all we start with our Aloha shirts, Hawaiian tropical shirts. I love it. Then, oh, good. This is always handy dandy, right? You get those cutout pages because that makes it perfect for fast cards. You're just gonna die cut it and go, right? Look at that. Oh, and the cute little leaves and the lay. I love that. So fun. Ooh, look at the little '70s bus. So fun. Oh, and then look at this, you guys. The um, background paper is so fun. It's that uh, hibiscus flower. Now, you know I love hibiscus flowers. My tortoise, Yubi, loves hibiscus flowers. And they're just so pretty, aren't they? So here we have our 70s bus with the surfboard on top. Ooh, a nice fun pool. Oh, look at those fun hibiscus flowers. I love it. Another cutout page. Yay. Ooh, oh, what is this? Those of you in our Fold It Club have this stencil. It came in your Fold It Club. Try, we're trying to coordinate a little bit even more for our Diamond Club members. If you're in all the clubs, you're a Diamond Club member. You get extra club points each month. You get 20% off your entire um, purchases off the website. Look at how fun that is. So it coordinates with the stencil. Now, last chance to get in on that stencil before our new Fold It Club comes out. So make sure you join that club ASAP. Look how cute this one is. It's mini shirts, mini buses. I love it. Mini flowers. Oh, that one might be my favorite. Oh, pineapples. Pineapples. Got to have some pineapples. Ooh, a mini wonky rectangle. Love it. Oh, I love that. The leaves. That is so pretty. I love the green background. And then we start all over again because you get two sheets of each one. Yay, that means four cutout sheets, which is so handy dandy, isn't it? I love having those cutout sheets because sometimes you don't have time to color and you just need you just need to do it, right? Okay, let's see what else we have here. 
don't forget my friends, I gave you a little peaky promise that the rest of this year, for sure, you will get an A1 card base in every kit, in every card kit. Now, luckily I don't have to look at the numbers at the end of the day because I'm sure that's not a good thing for me to do, but I don't care because it's more exciting, right? It's more exciting for us when we get a card base in here. So that's why I just kind of did it, right? Don't tell anybody, especially the numbers people. Ready, get set, here we go. It is an A1 pineapple fold it. Now, back in the day, a long time ago, we had an A2 pineapple fold it, but this one's different. This is not the same. First of all, it's smaller because it's A1, but it's a different one. This one coordinates more with our Hawaiian and our Aloha shirts, our tropical. And look at how fun it is. Now, I have samples, don't worry, I can't wait to show you. So you're getting that, yay! You're also getting, and this one is a really awesome one, this is the words sending sunshine, which how appropriate, right? You know, that goes with the whole theme, sending sunshine. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, let's, oh my goodness, there's still a lot here. Wow, wait, I think we're giving you extra this month. I don't know, here. We have some stickers, some sticker phrases, which are so nice. Sometimes you do, just don't have time to stamp or, or you just wanna just change up your cards a little bit. Lots of fun, um, sentiments, wishing you calm seas, a cool breeze, and good vibes. Thank you. Happy birthday to a very special friend. Let's get together. Hoping your days are filled with good times. You're the coolest friend. Hope your day is as bright as a tropical sunset. Life's too short to have a bad time. Aren't those adorable? And of course, yes, it coordinates with our entire palette, right? Right, right, right. Let's see. Oh, more, 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 more. Oh, that one's gotta be last. Oh, we have these fun little wood shapes. These, they're like little, oh, you know what? Liam and Miller are gonna love these. Uh, they just, they're almost like, they feel like coins or some wooden coins, but they're little round uh, wood pieces that have fun little palm trees on them. I love it, I love it, love it, love it. Those are so cute. Next, I know there's still more. You guys, there's still more. Then we have these cute little flowers because you know what? You can never have too many diamonds. Am I right? Never have too many diamonds. So here's some diamond flowers. Now, come on. You know, it's not real diamonds, right? You knew that, right? Okay. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> now I know I'm a nut. Here we go. Oh my goodness. I love these stickers. Stickers. Sometimes you just need a sticker, right? I love this. This is so fun. And they have the cute little, um, the little shirts on there. Love it, love it, love it. Now, last but not least, this might be my favorite of the embellishments. I don't know, I, I don't know. I really like those palm trees. Okay, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. These are 3D stickers, because they're on a foam dot, and they have diamonds on them with our fun hibiscus flowers. I absolutely love those, those are so cute. Now, let's look at our samples, and then I get to make a card, yes! Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. First of all, look at how adorable this pineapple is. I love this. Now, this pineapple coordinates with, of course, the pineapple on the shirts, the pineapple in your stamp and die set for this month. Look at how cute this is. I just, I just think it's adorable. I love it. Perfect. Now, here's a cute one. Ooh, a square card. I love that. Happy birthday to a very special friend. Look how easy peasy this would be to make, right? Sometimes you just need to make a whole bunch of cards at once just in case you need them, right? Oh, look at the sparkle on this one. Wishing you calm seas, a cool breeze, and good vibes. Look at the sparkly on that one. You're the coolest friend, love it. Ooh, look at this one. Using our dies from our die hard set. Sending sunshine, I absolutely love that. Open that up. Life's too short to have a bad time. Now, here what we did was we took that sticker and we cut it. You can do that. You're allowed to do that, right? Cut it and so now it can be on two lines instead of one. Always thinking, right? Oh my goodness gracious, look at how cute this is. With our wonky rectangle pattern paper in the back, we have our cute little, um, our, our fun little pineapple. And we got lots of goodies on here and then taped for Taped, taped, oh, it, yeah, it was taped for photography, sending sunshine. Isn't that adorable? Wow. This is a fun, now, I will be honest with you guys, this is not my normal color palette for me personally, right? 
you know me, if it's not pink, but hello, not everyone in my life wants a pink card. So sometimes I need to use colors that would appeal to the person I'm giving the card to, not my personal preference. No offense, but my dad really doesn't want a pink card, right? No offense, some of my friends don't want a pink card. They get enough pink when they just see me, right? <laughs> but let's jump in and make a card. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna look at all my stuff and I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm really thinking I need to do an eight, I, I need to do, oh, oh, we need to look at the rest of the box. I'm sorry, really quick, really quick, because I'm just so happy it turned out so well. So we're gonna open it up and it says, it's time to get crafty. And on the inside, it says, make time to be creative every day. Thanks for being a club member, the stamps of life. Now, let me just tell you, I've heard from quite a few of you that are planning on cutting this up and putting it on your wall. Because in all honesty, it's time to get crafty. Hello, is that cool or what? I know, and even this one, even this one. It's make time to be creative every day. I know, I love it. And it's really nice because it's like slick. I know, I just, oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so excited how that turned out. Now, let's jump in and Stephanie gets to make a card. Ah, let's move these over. Let's get our samples out of here. Now, I'm going to make a, you guessed it, pineapple. Because you know, hello, it's so cute. So we're gonna open this up. I get to get a new, brand new one. Brand spanking new. I'm gonna open this up. And of course, you know, on all of our foldits, it tells me to wear on the back, on the shadow, it tells me where to place my fold. So I don't have to even double think, right? And ooh, because a pineapple is really two colors, maybe even three colors, I'm gonna use white for my actual card base. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fold it in half. That's the hardest part, right? And then I tend to, I'll be honest, I tend to do all of my folds on the top. I just seem, I just feel like they stand better and I just like them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put the die, the fold, here's my fold. I'm gonna put the fold at the in, on the inside of my die. Now, if I want to, because that's not very much to grab, I might even go like this high. Now you're thinking, wait, that's gonna be kind of weird, but trust me, it's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna do this right now. I'm just gonna take it to my machine and I'm gonna run this through, easy peasy. And there we go, and we're gonna run it through. Now this is gonna make an A1 card. There we go. And I know it looks funny to see that fold so low. It just means the inside of my card's gonna be a little smaller, which is A-okay, right? It doesn't matter, it's okay. See, it looks kind of funny, I get it. But now we get to be more creative. The first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this shadow and I'm gonna make a full version of this card. Now, because I have my cardstock um, folded in half already, I'm just gonna make two because I can put one back in the envelope and use it another time, right? So I might as well have another one for next time. So I'm gonna lay that down and I am going to run that through. Just like that. Now, what we have here dun, 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 is a full version, right? We have the full version. So we're simply going to get some adhesive. Oops. We're gonna get some adhesive and we're gonna add this to our card. There we go. We're gonna lay this right on top. Now that ugly fold is long gone. You don't even see it anymore, right? And look at this, watch this, ready? Dun, 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 dun. Whoops, gotta open it here. Dun, 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 dun. there's my card. I know, right? Now, I could have done the fold higher, but then it would have had less of a, 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 a part to fold, and I was worried that I wouldn't have enough. Now, you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit extra right there so it sticks. Now, there's my card base. Now we get to have fun, and I'm going to make this a real decorated card. I have a couple colors here. I'm gonna look really quick. I mean, a couple pieces that's gonna cut. I'm gonna look really quick and see if I want to do... Hmm, I think I'm gonna stick with solids right now. So I'm going to get some artichoke, and you know me, I really like to use my scraps. I like to use my bigger pieces for the card bases. So I'm going to go into my scraps and find a smaller version of that same color. So I'm going to run this through. Now, let's see, I think we'll be, oh, I might add some, oh, let's see if we have adhesive. Dun, dun, oh, turn around, wrong side. We are going to grab some adhesive because this just might make it a little bit easier 
to adhere that. I'm going to peel this back. Now that's where all my sticky is. And I'm going to lay the sticky down. And then this is going to be a sticker. So now I'm going to trim this just to make sure I don't accidentally die cut where the adhesive is not. Now, let me just tell you, I've done that a billion times. That's why I've learned, even when I think I'm gonna remember, it's best to trim your paper. So now this whole thing is a sticker. It's a sticker. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to just add just the top of my little pineapple, just the top, and I am going to die cut that. So I just need to add the top and we're gonna run that through. And then we're gonna do the same thing, but with the yellow. Now, I really don't need, I, let's see, let's check this. I really don't, well, yeah, you know what? I will probably put the adhesive on the back of the yellow. So let's get, now, here I have sunshine. Again, I'm gonna do the same little trick here. I am going to look for a smaller piece of sunshine. Just so, and see, look, I have all my yellows. Well, a couple pinks mixed in, which isn't appropriate, but all of my yellows are right here, so I'm gonna find the exact same. Oh, there it is, look at that. Oh, that one's not big enough, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe this one. Ooh, that one's gonna be perfect. So instead of using, look at this, you guys. So instead of using a whole beautiful, perfect sheet, I'm gonna use this little dingy scrap, saving money and saving my bigger sheets for a card base, right? Now, I'm gonna lay this down, but I wanna make sure it has adhesive on the back because it's kinda, it's, you know, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do something a little different this time. I'm gonna take my adhesive sheet and I'm gonna cut it in half and probably just cut it like this. Now, this is gonna have adhesive on it. I'm gonna peel it off and I'm going to add this to my cardstock. Now, some might hang over. Oh, I might have done a pretty good job. Look at that. I'm gonna just kind of fold that a little bit just to make sure none, no extras are on there. Now I'm going to run this through and I only need the bottom part, right? So we're gonna lay that down and we're gonna lay this down and we're gonna run this through. Let's get that through. Whoops, 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 whoops. And we're gonna run that through. And to make it easier, I'm just gonna run it back. Well, you do not need to run it twice. It's just for space reasons, I ran it twice that way. Now, here we go. Are we ready for some magic? Look at this. We're gonna peel this up. Now some of these pieces, do, oh, Look at that, look at that, look at that. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, cut a couple little chads. That's where the pieces are held together. So we're gonna trim this right there. And we're gonna trim this one right there. And there we go, there is our pineapple bottom. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the green. Trim there, turn, trim right there. Now, look at this, we have our pineapple. Now. Before I do anything else, you know, if you know me, if you've been around for a little while, you know that I need to ink because I seriously feel like inking is my life. So let's grab some colors. I'm gonna focus on Ginger Snap, which it's interesting that I find myself using Ginger Snap way more in my life than I ever thought. It's just, it's one of those colors that you don't really think about very much because it's the light brown, but I use all the time. Now, hang on, let's find a scrap. Uh, this is not a, okay, we'll use this one. Probably not an appropriate scrap, but we'll use it anyway. So we're gonna ink. And I'm gonna get my light brown, and we're gonna get our, did I pull, there it is. Here's my ginger snap. Now, pineapples are kind of yellowy, kind of browny, you know, we're just gonna kind of play with this here. Also, something to note, I always use, whoa, I always use my mini ink pads for blending with my br little brushes or my big brushes that are up here. I always use my mini ink pads, why? Because sometimes they get ickies on them, sometimes they get a piece of fuzz, and if I were to use a big ink pad, if that piece of fuzz gets on my ink pad, the next time I go to stamp a nice big solid stamp, I'm not gonna get a good impression. So I always use the little ones. Now, here's another thing to note, there's glitter on this right now. If I was to use this as a stamp, I mean, as with a stamp, that glitter would interfere with my perfect stamping, right? So it's always okay, it's always good to use the mini pads because then if there's glitter on there, eh, who cares, right? Doesn't matter. But if it was on my big pad, you would hear me screaming, right? Okay, so we're just gonna go around the edges and Ginger Snap is a light brown, which is nice because you can always go and add as much as you want. So I'm just gonna go around the edge and I know you're thinking, gosh, it doesn't even look like she's doing anything, but watch this, I am, see? 
It really is there, I promise. And we're gonna go around the edges. And then if we always wanna start less and always we can add more, right? So the, we can always go back and add more, more, more. And then if I wanted to get extra tricky, watch this, you guys. I can get out a light brown marker. Let's just grab this one. This one says earth tones. So let's check this one really quick. Oh, that's a good one. So this is, just so you know, this is a earth brown blend and I'm using the lightest one. I am going to, you see we have these cut marks on here. I'm going to accentuate them kind of like putting mascara on your eyelashes. Same idea. You have eyelashes already, but why not accentuate them by adding mascara? So I'm adding mascara. Here we go. We're gonna just go down those lines. Dun, 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 dun. Now, sometimes you might come out of the little lines a little bit. You know what, my friends? I do every time. It's like not gonna be perfect, but I feel like that really shows that it is real. Now, did you see what I just did? The first one I kept starting and starting, stopping and starting, stopping and starting, and it's not as straight. The next one, I just went straight. I just did not stop, I just kept going. And it's actually straighter, watch. Pretty straight, right? Now watch this one. If I go and then and then like kind of like keep go, you know, keep stopping and going, stopping and going, it's not as straight. So just go, right? Just go, boom, ready? Boom, and it helps if you say the boom, just so, so you know. I'm kidding, here we go. But Stephanie likes it, boom. Ready, boom, boom. And look at how much, you guys, look at how much that totally, totally changes your pineapple. Look at that, isn't that awesome? So there we go, again, just so you know, that was the Earth Brown Blend Tri-Blend Marker. And um, we'll just put it there. So now we, ha oh, I think we should do the same thing with the green, don't you? So let's grab a green and let's grab artichoke because that is the color of the cardstock. And let's just add, first of all, let's just start with the tips. Let's see what it looks like just with the tips. We might want to add more, but let's see what it looks like just with the tips. And I'm kind of thinking I might do the same thing with the cut marks and add some green in there, some green marker. There we go, let's see. Let's see, oh, I like that. That looks nice, just the tips, I like that. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna come in with a green marker. And I love that my pins are so close now. Let's use this one. This one, ooh, let's do that one. This one is the yellow green blend and I'm gonna use the middle one, the middle one. So there we go. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna go fast like I did last time. Whoosh, whoosh. It really helps if you don't stop and you just keep going. Whoosh, whoosh. So see, I, I have different words for different colors apparently. There we go. And then let's do the, oh, uh, you know what? No, I'm gonna leave those. Look at that, isn't that cute? Now, oh my goodness, this is fun. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to put our pineapple together. Let's put this guy together. So let's get this centered a little better and let's put this down here. So. We're gonna have a white border all the way around. Now, what if you don't want a white border all the way around? And sometimes I don't. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this down on my scrap. I'm going to get some yellow. Now, I probably won't get sunshine, maybe a lighter yellow, maybe a, oh, pineapple, appropriate, right? Let's use lemonade though. Lemonade's a little softer of a yellow. And let's grab this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around the edges of my white. I'm not gonna try to worry about making it perfectly yellow. I want it to look literally inked, right? I want people to know that yes, I did just ink it. It was white and I made it yellow. And so I'm not trying to do it perfectly. I'm not trying to get it exactly, you know, all perfectly monotone or anything like that. I want people to know it's gonna be inked. Now it's gonna look a little funny, right? Because it's just, you're like, wait, what is she doing in the middle? Don't worry, all that's gonna be covered, right? So I'm just gonna go around, and I'm doing yellow all of the whole thing, even though right here technically is brown, right? There, whoops, one more. There we go. And one more, that's a little harsh. There we go, perfect. So now I have yellow all the way around, and I use lemonade 
and I'm gonna get this and I'm going to get my little bottom here. Look at this. Now you'll kind of see why, because of all those cut lines, which just accentuate how gorgeous it is, right? Um, you'll see why I didn't want to try to add adhesive on that because I didn't want uh, anything to interfere. There we go, ready? Ta-da, see here, because there are cut lines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this down right there. We're gonna have a border, oh, hang on, upside down. <laughs> <laughs> double check it <laughs> so there we go it's flatter on the bottom so it'll stand there we go oh my goodness you guys look how cute this is and now we're going to now if you're not in the kit club this is the kit club my friends at the stamps of life if you're not in the kit club the last few months we have sold out all the only people that are guaranteed a kit club are the people that are in the kit club and we have been selling out so I need you to make sure if you want to get in the kit club, you get in ASAP so you're guaranteed a spot. Otherwise, it's like we have to do this waiting list thing or something. I don't know how they even do it. But Faleen has a, a, a way to do it. I just want you to make sure you get in ASAP. That also gets you the A1 Fold It. And then, of course, if you're not in any clubs, then you start getting that club discount. So we're gonna add this right there. Oh my word, you guys, hello. Is that the cutest thing you ever saw? Oh my goodness, we're not even done. So now what we're gonna do is we need to embellish our little guy here. And I'm thinking, um, let's see. Oh, that's cute. Uh, that one. Oh, you know what? Well, that one would be good. I'm gonna do the let's get together. So I'm gonna cut it like we did on that other card because I really want you to see how e I love these stickers because they make life so easy. I'm gonna peel this up. Now, they're not just stickers, these are, cardstock stickers. So it's kind of handy because they're thicker. I'm going to open this up, open this up, and I'm gonna look at my little guy here and I'm gonna say, let's get, will fit, and then together will fit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it right here, right in between, let's, on um, between get and together. So together is right there. Uh, let's bring it down a little, line that up, there we go. And then let's put let's get right on top. Look at that, you guys, that's awesome. Look how cute that is. Let's get together. Now, let's add, of course, hello, some flowers because, ha, huh, we need them. Now, these are a little, on, these are on foam dots, which are fun, so it just changes everything, right? And we have yellow and green, but I really feel like we need to introduce another color. So we could introduce the red or the blue. And right now I'm leaning towards the red because that red is just like a shock, right? It's just so pretty. So we're gonna add that right there at the bottom. Eh, maybe not, hang on. Right there at the top, there we go. And then for another fun color, let's add another one right here. Oh, we better not do it there, right there. I didn't wanna put two on top of each other because that's right where I put the other one and we don't want it to be too thick. But look at that, you guys. Oh my goodness. Are you ready? Look at this. It's so sweet. How easy peasy was that? When everything coordinates together, it's so easy to know. I know because the Stamps of Life told me all of these items go together. I don't have to worry. Oh, does this yellow match this yellow? Does this brown match this brown? Boom. Done. Right? There's no, you don't, you don't have to worry about any of that. That's always in the back of your mind. Here we go. Here's our cute little... Um, pineapple open her up let's get together now oh I almost forgot I need a personalized stamp on the back uh, let's see what's this one say uh, no that was kind of weird uh, let's get a different one let's get a smaller one um, oh hang on what's this one uh, oh this one's cute this one's kind of big, but it's still fun. So let's grab a block. So yes, we do make personalized stamps on our website. You can have it say anything you want, as long as it's not a bad word. Uh, let's grab some licorice and we're going to stamp this. And this one's cute. It just says, handmade with flair, just for you, hugs Stephanie. Isn't that cute? Now here we go, my friends, done. So easy peasy and so much fun because I know in my mind, Everything goes together, right? Everything goes together. And I, I didn't even use this, you guys. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. I didn't even bother to use it. I still have 24 sheets of pattern paper in here. Goodness, okay, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get together. Okay, my friends, Card Kit Club members, 
Ken's gonna get these out to you ASAP if you are not in the card kit club. Get in as soon as possible because once it sells out, it's gone forever, forever, okay? Jump in, thestampsoflife.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click that subscribe button and click the notifications bell so you get in notified whenever we do a live broadcast or when we come out with a new video. Thanks so much and I will see you again soon. Take care, bye-bye.
so much for watching. Now make sure you subscribe to our channel right below us here so you don't miss out on any of our videos. You'll also have the option to click the shop now button or check out some of these other videos that we have on YouTube because you know what? You're going to love them. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.